Today is September 8th, the 251st day of the year, and here are a few things that happened on this day in history. Today is the 518th anniversary of the unveiling of David, perhaps the most famous sculpture ever created by Renaissance artist Michelangelo. St. Augustine, Florida was founded on September 8th, 1565. It's the oldest continuously inhabited European established city in the United States at 457 years old today. 241 years ago, on September 8, 1781, the Battle of Utah Springs took place in South Carolina. Technically a tactical victory for the British, it was the last major Revolutionary War battle to occur in the Carolinas. Today is the 162nd anniversary of the sinking of the P.S. Lady Elgin on Lake Michigan after the steamship was rammed by the schooner Augusta during gale force winds. Around 300 people were lost in the worst open water disaster in Great Lakes history. The body of Annie Chapman, the second known victim of infamous serial killer Jack the Ripper, was found 134 years ago today, on September 8, 1888. September 8, 1900, saw a devastating hurricane strike Galveston, Texas that left around 10,000 people homeless, destroyed nearly 7,000 buildings, and killed between 6,000 to 8,000 people in and around the city. All told, the storm killed approximately 12,000 people in the United States before fully dissipating. The Great Galveston Hurricane, as it's become known, still remains the single deadliest storm to ever make landfall in the United States, even 122 years after the fact. The 3M branded Scotch tape was first offered for sale on September 8, 1930, making it 92 years young today. London, England was struck by a V2 rocket for the first time 78 years ago today, on September 8, 1944. A technological marvel for its time, the V2 was the world's first long-range guided ballistic missile as well as the first artificial man-made object to achieve spaceflight. Today is the 56th anniversary of the premiere of what eventually became one of the most beloved science fiction television shows of all time, Star Trek. Although the show only lasted three seasons, the original series became immensely popular in syndicated reruns, going on to spawn a franchise with a running total of 13 feature-length films, seven additional television series, three animated series, and countless novels. The entire franchise has brought in an estimated $10.6 billion in revenue, making it one of the highest grossing media properties of all time. Finally, 34 years ago today, Yellowstone National Park was forced to close for the first time in the park's history on September 8, 1988, as a result of multiple unprecedented wildfires that burned from mid-June to mid-November. In addition to causing around $3 million in damages to buildings in the area, the fires also burned almost 740,000 acres of the park and cost around $120 million to fight. More than 25,000 firefighters and support personnel battled the fires during the months they were active, along with over 11,000 U.S. military personnel. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and follow Unexpected History and check out the link tree in my bio for ways you can help support the channel. Until the next time, may your day be pleasantly unexpected.